Hello, for this tutorial we're going to show you how to set up port forwarding on a Netgear DG834G router. If we start by entering your router's IP address and pressing enter, enter your username and password. The default username and password is admin and password. And simply the two options that we need to use is services and firewall rules. So, for example, if you've got um, a NAS that you want to access or a CCTV recorder that you want to be able to access from remotely, what we could do is if we first click on services and add a custom service. We can create a name, it can be absolutely anything you like. We'll call this one CCTV because you want to watch your recorder from somewhere else. I'm going to select both because I don't know exactly which one you're going to need. And I'm going to select port 8001. I'm only going to use the 8001 port, just the one port, so I'm going to enter it again in the finished port. And we're going to click on apply so the name can be anything. The type of service that your device needs, which will probably tell you in the manual for it. The start port, I'm only going to select one port so it finishes at the same port number. And we click on apply. What we need to do then is just double check here your service type is CCTV and your ports is 8001. And all that, that name is there for is so that you know and that what it's for and that you can keep track of all the ports that you're actually using and what they're for. Your next option is to go to your firewall rules and in your inbound services here we're going to add and you'll notice your service has appeared here. If it's not you can click on this and you can scroll through all the different options that are already there and find the ones that you just made. Now, you've already set the IP address in your device. Let's just say that we set it to 192.168.0.2. So the service is anything that comes into the router using port 8001 will be sent to this address here. And we click on apply. We can double check this programming by looking at the inbound services, which is CCTV, allow always, it's going to be sent to this IP address and it's going to be sent from anybody all the time. When you are happy with that, we can click on apply and that will save that then to your router. If you need to add any more onto that, we can either just keep adding the custom services here, so we can end up with a big list first, which I'll probably recommend. Then go to your firewall rules and add in all your services to send to your different or to your same IP address. And again, once you've finished doing that, just simply go to log. That's basically it for setting up your port forwarding. The only thing you will need to do then is when you're typing in the static IP address of your router is you'll just have to put colon 8001 after your static IP address. When that hits this router then this router will send it to your local IP address your CCTV recorder and that will allow you access to web browse to your DVR to your NAS or whatever your product supports. I hope this was of use to you. Thanks.